Icho Youth Threatens to Cripple Oil Installations. The Icho Youth Council IYC has vowed to occupy all oil installations in the Niger Delta region to protest alleged lopsided applications of the mining regulations. The IYC president Peter Igbifa in a statement he signed said the council was at the concluding stage of its plan to roll out a decisive action against the federal government. Igbifa said it was provocative for the government to allow the locals in the northern part of the region to explore and exploit their mineral resources including gold deposits in Zamfara state while criminalizing such practice on crude oil in the south. He said there was no good back or no going back in the decision of aggrieved Ijo youth to seize oil wells, facilities and platforms in a widespread protest that would last until the government attended to their demands. According to him, part of the demands includes government should facilitate the amendment of the constitution to ensure resource control, amend the act establishing the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC, address wetland challenges in the region, and discard the water resources bill. Ibifa said their decision to cripple oil production in the region was not a threat, but a promise insisting that all the youths had been alerted and were waiting for the directive of the council. He asked residents in the region to stock their homes with foodstuffs, adding that the protests would include occupation of the east-west road and other deplorable roads in the region until the government shows practical commitment of renovating them. He said, we appeal to residents to manage their available resources and stock their homes ahead of this planned shutdown of activities around the Niger Delta in the coming days. We are undertaking this painful path to ask the federal government to facilitate the amendments of the constitution to ensure resource control, amend the NDDC Act, address wetland challenges, kill the water resource bill, and show practical commitment in reconstructing the east-west road and other deplorable federal roads in the Niger Delta. The time is now to build a new Niger Delta of our dream. We are tired of the talk show and we feel cheated that the Mining Act allows Amphara State and other parts of the Niger Delta to own these solid minerals, including gold deposits, and forbid the Niger Delta and Ijo communities from owning the crude oil in their backyards. Our consultations have reached the peak and in the coming days, the Nigerian states will have to contend with the anger of our youths. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, I concur with these people. I concur with them with all my heart. It's been long these people have been agitating for this. I don't know why these northern people are known to be like this. To be this cheatful, deceitful, and someone around the corner will be saying that the best people to make a friend are the Northerners. What a rubbish. What a rubbish. You can see that many of us don't really know ourselves. We don't really know ourselves. We don't respect ourselves. We don't respect, most especially in this oil mogul, Otto Eze. He will tell you that he prefer to have the, 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 the Northerner as a friend than an Easterner, that it trusts the, the Northerners than the Easterners. Because 
a nutana showed you so much love doesn't mean that others are like that. That is that particular person. That is that particular nutana. Have you tried others? Have you tried others? Look at the statement one of them made. He said, we are born to rule. What a statement. What a statement. They are not the owner of these resources, yet they are taking charge and control of it. Is that not stupidity? Look at Zamfara. They own gold and they are allowed to be in charge and in control of their gold. So why can't they allow the Niger Delta to be in control of their oil, of their, of their oil, oil? Why? Why, why taking charge of what belongs to the Niger Deltans? It is wrong. So if these people decide to take it up with these people, they are very much right. They are in their rights. And nobody will question them. Nobody will question them. You understand? So they are in their rights. So this decision of these Ijo people, Ijo Youth Council, to, uh, uh, coming up with a protest over their the over over the con take over taking control of um of of their of, of their oil i will say that i concur with that fact i concur with that fact so let everyone let everyone knows and accept that you understand so um my viewers I tell you that if the federal government can grant these people their request, I tell you it will go a long way in helping solve so many problems that have been going on in the Niger Delta. Okay, you want to give them an allocation, you give them peanut as an allocation. Is that an allocation? Okay, you want to give them an allocation. You allocated the allocation to the wrong hand without proper monitoring. You, 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 you make use of their resources, yet you could not even meet with their needs and their demands. See how Niger Delta is looking like. As far as sign, these people are supposed to be the best, supposed to be people enjoying the best of the economy. People, they're supposed to have the best of roads. They're supposed to be the one occupying reputable positions in Nigeria today. But look at them. Many of them are jobless. Many of them are jobless. Yes. Don't you know? Many of them are jobless. That is why in Niger Delta today, you see an average Ijo man will, 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 will be doing a minor job. A minor job. Why? This is a God-blessed state, a God-blessed people. Eh? It's wrong, completely wrong. Let the right thing be done. Let the people be heard. Let these people be accepted. Let their resources be given to them. They should be the one in control of their resources. Since Zamfara state is in control of their resources, these people too should be in control of their resources. No excuse. Check it out. So what are we saying? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why our government will be this greedy. I don't know. I don't know. It's wrong. Allow these people. Allow them. Allow them to be. Let them be. It is their resources. Let them be in control of it. My viewers, what do you think? What's your own advice? What's your own thoughts? Please, don't forget to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.